Welcome back to the recording pan of Destiny. If you're new here, for everyone else though, um, they're Lego sets and they're they're magnets. And you read the the title and you were like, "What, pro? You're you gone you gone mad, guy? They don't make Lego mag. <laughs> they like they make Lego magnets. Look, it says magnet, and then it says it in some other language, and it shows the little universal magnet symbol." Um, so we have a bus, a pack of, I'd call those pastel colors, secondary colors, and then like basic colors, um, basic Lego colors. Very shiny packaging, kind of annoying to film. And uh, my pan is actually not steel, so it's not magnetic. They do kind of stick to each other. Um, let's see, cute, fun. They're kind of heavy. I assume they've got magnets in them. Well, let's, so we're going to do the bus last, but let's open these up and see um, what they do. Um, on the back side, you can see the um, the full range of magnets right now. They're made in China. Components made in China of the um, these two. Um, yeah, components made in China, both of them say it. This one on the fun side says uh, components made in Denmark, Hungary, Mexico, and China. So the usual... Uh, locations. It also shows this upside down. Um, it shows it right side up. I'm going to show it upside down. Um, you can stick the bus onto the magnet and then I assume use it like a fridge magnet. It's on a red one, which should be identical to the other red one. But, um, so let's get into it. Um, looks like looks like tiny circles of tape here. Yeah, that came off pretty good. And then just kind of open. Okay. And the same idea here. Come on. Yeah. That's very easy. I was expecting that to be honestly a little bit uh, more troublesome. So what do we got? We got magnets. Yeah, they don't stick to that. Do they stick to tiny scissors too? <gasps> the Crayola scissors are made of steel. What about original tiny scissors? Hmm. Yeah, they do, but... They don't stick as good, so. Um. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's not much to say about them. They are made of very Lego-like plastic. They feel about right. They don't feel like knockoff bricks or anything. Um, and you can stick those on the fridge. I have a metal door that I stick them on. It does look like they've got, well, they're gonna say hex. Yeah, there's some kind of hex. Um, screw in there. Will it focus? No, nah, it's not gonna, it's never gonna focus on that. Oh, there it is. Um, some kind of hex screw holding the magnet in. Um, make them slide to each other. Is that, damn it, I already got hair on them. Having pets is fun. Yeah, that's magnets. They They act like you would expect magnets to work. That looks a lot less interesting to you than it does to me because I'm making it almost float. Like I'm barely touching them and um, they're kind of like flying off and stuff. But um, I guess I could take a Lego brick and stick it on them and see if they Lego brick correctly. Yeah, they, they Lego brick fine. Um, they don't have the undersides. So we're we're like four minutes into this and you're saying, I didn't come here to see you play with multicolored magnets. Well, multicolored magnet surprise is the title of the video. Would I be such an idiot to do that? Yeah. So they're interacting with each other, knocking each other over. It's pretty neat. It looks good. Nice little rainbow there. I don't think that's necessarily the uh, spectrum order. But uh, let's do this one. This one's got choking hazards. The other one's not. Huh. Yeah, that's fun. Uh, the the regular set isn't a choking hazard. So if you've got a three year old, give them give them that uh, those those multicolored Lego magnets because they can't choke on it. I, I assume they could choke on it. I was joking. Um. Yeah. So it's a um. 
little sealed bag. Kind of reminds you of some of the uh, office supply ones, I think. The pencil pot. Did the pencil pot come in one of these? I forget. There it is. Was there a little tear line? Oh, there was. It was a little tear line. I could have torn that very easily and got into it, but I used my brute strength. Um, so these are going to be stickers. Oh, they're stuck down. There it is. Um, hmm. Some kind of logo printed there. I don't know if you can read that. Huh. Anyways, it says Lego Group supplier number, and it doesn't say unless this is the supplier number. Wow, 2000? Copyright 2000 Lego Group. Is this is this a thing they've already done? I was under the impression this was brand new. Uh, wow. So the instructions, a little bit thinner paper than uh, than some, kind of close to poly bag uh, paper. And uh, we've got 11 instructions, it looks like, with one sub-step. Well, uh, I'm not going to count that as a sub-step because that's just doing two of one thing. So they're pointing it out to you. Um, okay. Okay. So along the top is this long tile. You could build a home if you have these pieces and a Lego magnet. Um, that could be fun for you to do. The downside is you probably don't have these stickers, which honestly, eh, you know, you're not probably missing out on much. It's always nice to get little tile pieces though. I wouldn't say this one would be the best one for just getting little tiles because you're only getting a couple pieces and it's mostly focused on the fact that there's a magnet in the set, I think. Um, you know, as they tend to do in little, I don't know what you call these. These this is like this is like an office supplies or something set. Honestly, like I could definitely see someone, um, you know, sticking this on their their cubicle wall. Are cubicles made out of metal? Yeah, I've never had a, a good, cute little uh, office job before, so I wouldn't. Wouldn't know, I guess. Wouldn't know if... You're telling me to have already put the stickers on in step three. We're going to wait till we're completely done, though. Um, and you're probably saying, why? Fair enough. Why would I? Come on. Okay, so this one's going here. These go under here and they hang off one stud. I'm having a feeling that we're going to use that other jumper in that spot there. I don't know. I don't know what that other jumper is. Did I miss it? No, no, because I see where it goes. Oh, we're putting this rail piece for the bottom. Very nice. Um, this then goes underneath that so that we can put this grill upright. Very cute. Um, and then, see, I thought these were, I thought these tires were going on the jumpers, but they're not. They're getting, uh, tires going on the jumpers. Did I say that? Hmm. That was weird. Uh, that goes there. This goes in there. Don't know why they didn't use a, I don't know why they wouldn't have used a tile here. They had tiles in the set already. So that would have presumably been easy. And it shows it in the picture like that though. At this, you don't go here yet. If only I had a brick separator handy. So it's one of those sets that they don't give you any extra parts. They're very confident in their uh, their allotments, I guess, on some of these. So we'll put the red on top of the um, panel inverter thingy. And there it is. That looks like a London bus without the stickers. Now, I know what you're thinking. Pro, you, you got to put those stickers on. 
Fair enough. I, I mean, you're right. I do have to put those stickers on. So the yellow bar goes across the bottom of the um, long, very easy to put on sticker. I find when stickers are bigger, you have more to hold on to, which makes them maybe, is that look right again? Yeah, we're, we're committing to that. Um, maybe makes them easier because you can hold on to more. But then also like a slight variance um, makes it a little bit harder too because it'll, you know, work its way crazy. You can't see any of this because it's focusing on my hands and not the pieces. We're gonna do um, a little bit of a trick here. I'm looking for, I guess you'll work. A Lego piece that's got a big handle. You give yourself a handle to work with. Um, we're going to put this actually on the. I wanted a one by one, or not a one by one, but one by six or four or eight or something. I'm going to put it on the bottom side though of that. I'm just lining up those edges as best I can. Huh. Yeah, that was a pretty good one. It's a pretty good application of a sticker. Um, and then use the ridge on the tile to pull it up and back into the build. And this piece goes back to the projects area. And then it says, uh, stick this on. It does recommend an orientation for those um, screws, but I don't know if it matters. Yeah, well, that's what I got, so there it is. It's a little bus, cute little bus. Um, I, could, I could definitely see this on someone's cubicle, a uh, little refrigerator at work. I'm going to keep it on my refrigerator at home, though, because I don't want to share with people at work. Yeah, there's fingerprints all over it from my fingerprints. Um, but other than that, it looks very nice. And you, of course, it's a, it's a magnet, so... So there it is. That's the review. You're welcome. Um, triple magnet pack. I don't know what I'm going to name the video as I'm recording it, but you've already read the video and it might be a reference to something in the video. Who knows? Um, if you plan on getting some of these, let me know what you want to do with them. I've seen some really cool builds using magnets before. And uh, of course, I have been your host. Uh, subscribe here, automatic video over there. Look at this garbage that this set leaves. And then uh, somewhere else is a video that I picked for you on the screen. You're welcome. Click on it and uh, enjoy that. Goodbye and all the other stuff.